All right, it's December 21st, a Tuesday, first day of the winter solstice here in Randleman, North Carolina. Right down there's a bridge that crosses over the Deep River, and Randleman's up that way. Just did a town center video up there, but I wanted to come down here today, talk about a woman named Naomi Wise, who was murdered on this river a long time ago in the 1800s, when this town was just getting started. Yeah, the story has it that uh, Naomi Wise uh, met up with a guy named Lewis. I think it was Jonathan Lewis, a well-to-do person in this area. And they got together one night, and she got pregnant from it. And uh, I believe Naomi was a, an orphan, and the family in this area was taking care of her and uh, raising her in their home. And I think the uh, story has it that Jonathan also lived in this area, had to, I believe he went into Asheboro maybe to, for his work every once in a while and passed by her house. Maybe that's how they met and uh, got together. Anyway, story has it that uh, families didn't approve of one another. Uh, Naomi's family didn't approve of the Lewis family because of their reputation. And then, of course, the, I guess the uh, Lewis family didn't approve of Naomi being a poor orphan girl. And so they didn't want anything to happen there. But uh, I think uh, one night, uh, Naomi got with uh, Lewis, and they said they were going to, she wanted to meet him. And they met out at an area not far from here, off of, I think it was Brown Road. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong when I'm telling this. I'm just going by memory of what I just read. But there's Adam, Adam Springs out there, and they met, and uh, I guess she told him being pregnant and that uh, she wanted to marry him. And uh, I don't think he wanted to have none of that. He didn't want to be involved with her that way. So story has it that uh, you know, he kind of just listened to him, went along with it. And then uh, that spring, she climbed up on the back of his horse. And I guess he thought they were going to ride into Asheboro or somewhere close by to, to get married. But when they got down here to this river, there was a ford they had to cross. Uh, I don't think it was right here. I think there's uh, another bridge, Naomi Bridge, on down the river ways, down that way. That's probably the actual area that's a little bit closer where they forded the river, but it was on this river. And uh, when they got halfway across, he stopped and jerked Naomi off the horse and drowned her, strangled her right there and drowned her in the river. <clears throat> and uh, uh, the word had it that uh, people in the area heard a girl screaming and they come running down to the river, but when it got down there, it was too dark and no, nobody was around and couldn't hear nothing else. I guess old Lewis was done, took on off. Next day, they come on down and they find her down on rocks of the river. Down near, I guess it's called Naomi, Naomi Falls now. I don't know if there was a, how it was at the time, but anyway, that's the area and she was jammed up on some rocks there and they found her. And it's a sad story of uh, of two lovers, I guess. And uh, said Lewis uh, was arrested for the crime, but uh, escaped and took on off and went out somewhere a few years. And then, of course, his family uh, was well to do, and I think they know some people. And uh, I don't know how many years later they went out there and arrested him, brought him back, and. Uh, heading for trial here, but of course by then people that knew anything about the murder some of them were Gone and there wasn't enough witness anymore and voila Lewis gets off So I think that's probably the way it went down. I'm not sure but uh, Naomi's all, all In a lot of stories. I mean there's so many different stories about how it's told because uh, you know what no uh, media like it is today and it's just word of mouth I guess but apparently Naomi uh, had two more kids by two different other men and and so she wasn't this little angel everybody portrayed her to be I think uh, in some of the ballads they had a ballad one of the oldest ballads made about a, a murder in North Carolina was hers and uh, I'll make a link to it there's one on YouTube, I'll make a link to that little ballot so you can hear it. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, she already had two other kids by two other men and she'd already took them to court to, and got something called a bastardly 
bond that the two men had to put up to make sure the county wouldn't have to ever pay for his kids. Uh, kind of cold thing, I guess it's called a bastardly bond, but uh, that's what it said. So yeah, I don't think she was just this little sweet thing, you know, that was just innocent in anything, but nobody deserved to be murdered no matter what they, how they are in life. And uh, that Lewis guy sounded like he, he wasn't too much of a man to do what he did. Really a sad thing all the way around. And just like today, we have crazy people running around doing crazy things, and they did back then too, and the way the stories were told was through old ballads and things like that, and hearsay and rumors, and you can imagine how the story has been told over time, and I just told it again, it's probably a little bit different than what you may have heard. Anyway, uh, this area, after the murders, uh, people would come down and say sometimes they'd see Naomi hover, hovering over the river at night in a ghostly dress or uh, just moaning or crying out, I guess. I'm not sure. But I just thought I'd come on down here and, and show this. I know uh, back in the day, not too long ago, the schools used to come down here and set up a place down here along the river. I don't know if it's right here in this area down near the other bridge, but uh, there's a picture of it in their historic things where they come down and have a play, and it was a big thing. They did the whole sketch up and, uh, about the murders and stuff right here on the river. I bet that was kind of cool to see. And I'm not sure why they stopped doing that. And I also thought that when I came down here to this little deep river park that they may have a plaque talking about it. I mean, that's an interesting story and would be an interesting draw to this little park. And uh, yeah, use it as a <laughs> kind of a little tourist thing, I guess is what it would be to do that. But I mean, it's history here in this town and they shouldn't try to hide it. I am thinking it'd bring people into the town and, you know, just be something to do and talk about and have it on this trail where it actually happened, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Anyway, I'm going to end it right here. Yeah, Naomi Wise, poor girl that got murdered in this river by apparently Jonathan Lewis. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't. I can't imagine who else would have done it. Yeah, it's a terrible thing. But anyway, let's end it here on the winter solstice. I hope you enjoyed this little talk here about the Naomi Wise murder and uh, I'll link to that battle below so you can listen to it. If you like this video I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe and share. Y'all take care.